Right, today I'm working on the combo. I'm going to show you how to remove the front bumper from a Voxel Combo or Corsa C. Now mine's the facelift version, so the front bumper is slightly different to the older Corsa C and the um, lower trim version combos. But I think the bolts are all in the same place and there's similar fixings. So whether you've got the facelift bumper or the slightly older bumper, if you've got a Voxel Combo or Corsa C, then this should be a good tutorial for you. I'm going to try my best out on the drive to remove the bumper, show you where all the bolts are. There's four different types of fixings, I think. Um, three or four different types of fixings, but I'll show you those in, and I'll show you some close-ups as well of what they look like so that you've got an idea of what you've got to undo where and what you'll need to buy to replace any of the clips or screws or bolts that you break because you may well break some. The original reason why I wanted to take the bumper off today was I was going to replace some of the plastic grill with a stainless steel mesh. I think that it's going to be a bit too much effort to do today and also I'm still not entirely sure whether I like the look of the mesh or not so I'm going to leave that for now but if you want to be um, taking your front bumper off for any reason whatsoever to replace bits and pieces um, or even to get to better access to the to the front of the engine if you need to do any work to your turbo or your intercooler or your radiator this will be uh, helpful to take the front bumper off as well so okay I'm going to stop rambling on and I'm going to show you outside and uh, we'll crack on <laughs> Okay, so the first bolts that you need to undo are located underneath the arch around about here. Now if you've only got a socket set you're going to need to take your wheel off but a 10mm ratchet spanner will enable you to undo the bolt there without actually having to take your wheel off but depending on how fat your wheel is you probably won't be able or how low your car is you won't be able to get a socket up in between the tyre and the back of the arch. So 10mm ratchet spanner is what I'm going to use to basically undo the bolt from behind there. Now this is what might happen, the bolt might crack like that, so I do suggest buying some new uh, bumper trim attachment bolts um, so that you can replace these when they break, because they're only made out of plastic, stupid little things. Okay, these are the bolts that hold the arch trim on. Um, as you can see here, this little T-piece slots into a slot inside the arch trim the bolt then goes through the bodywork and then this nut, plastic nut, goes on the end of that. Okay, once you've done, done the bolt here, there is another one that's uh, exactly the same type, just about here, except you'll need a socket to get to that, so you need to get a socket or a socket wrench up and underneath there. The spanner won't do it because the bolt is actually recessed on the other side of this. So that one, a spanner is best. This one, a socket is best. After you've undone that, there is a torque screw up inside here, which is a T25. That needs to be undone. And there's another torque screw down underneath this part here, which goes up. Um, and that's also a T25. Just undo that there.
the Torx bolts are a T25 I think, they might be a T20 but you need a Torx, uh, Torx bit set or a um, Torx Allen key set and uh, that's pretty much what they look like, they just hold the bottom of the bumper and the side of the bumper So now this trim can come away a little bit which will allow you to take the front bumper away. Okay now we need to get underneath the front bumper and undo the plastic trim clips that are underneath here. Now. As you can see they're actually missing, they're supposed to go there, and there, and one on the other side, under there. So mine are already off, I'm going to be replacing those with new ones. So now all that's left is to do the top bolts. I'll show you how these clips work though, and how you get them off. Okay, basically this is what the clips look like with this sort of middle rivet and they hold the bumper up underneath there. Now the way you get those off is either with a special trim removal tool or a fork. Now these are 8mm bolts and there's just three of them to undo. Get to undo your uh, temperature sensor on the back here. And the front bumper is off. Okay, so to refit the bumper, it's pretty much the same as we did but in reverse, except I'm going to use some new hardware, I've got some new Torx bolts, I've got some new bumper retaining nuts and bolts, and I've got some new trim clips, so I'm going to crack on with that. Get it hooked at the top there on the uh, little plastic bolt holes and do the top three bolts up first and that'll hold it in place while you do the rest. <laughs> 